you ask him to re-equip our things. Like this. Already equipped. Uh, no, that's not a thing. This is a thing. Equipped. That is not a thing. This is a thing. Sorted grenades to help. Wait. Of course. Just like that. Private, private, private. So we have a plenty of privates. And we can check who has the best stats and we give that person the last thingy. Did we even lose? Oh god, we lost so many things. We even lost the the heavy weapons guy. Did we lose the heavy weapon itself? No, the heavy weapon is here. So at least we can use it. Do you have the best accuracy? No. Actually, that's irrelevant. The strength matters way more. Okay, that seems good enough. Good enough. Oh, that's a lie. You want this. And this. Medkit, medkit. No medkit. 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 No medkit. No penalty yet. No medkit. Alright. Uh, ah, right. Menem is hurt. Okay. He seems not to be here. We are ready to defend base. How do I say, okay, defend the base? This. Okay. That is it. So we prepare for the base defense. And we get a briefing. Your base is under attack from alien invaders. You must eliminate all of the extraterrestrial units to win this mission, and a loss will mean the destruction of your facility. There are no other victory conditions for Xenonauts, but the aliens will also win the mission if they hold your command center for five turns. The alien forces in the mission are highly aggressive and well equipped, so expect a difficult fight. Additionally, they will attempt to destroy some of your base structures uh, as they sweep through the map, putting them out of action for several days if they are successful. In a base defense mission, the map starts revealed, including the alien entry points, uh, and the player is able to arrange their troops in the command center before the mission begins. However, it is the aliens that get the first turn. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so where are the aliens landing? That is an entry point, right? And this is an entry point. So all the enemies, correct me if I'm wrong, are coming from the same overall direction. So those two. In that case, uh, Giga, you're ready to open here. Hopefully it will be you who opens. You will stay over here. Uh, heavy weapons over here. Shields over here. We'll move over here with Menem. Um, of course, many is on. Shotgun. Another shotgun. He ends with the sniper. More shotguns. And you random guys that I was not informed about, please and somewhere. So we end the turn, and the aliens get the first turn. See what happens. Hello, you, whatever you are, get closer to you and start shooting regular shots. That's 18 damage, and that's a kill. All right, so whatever is coming is not impossible to win. Good. Uh, secondly, let's examine around so that we don't get any nasty surprises. Stay 
stay kind of here. Here. And here. This unit over here. And this unit over here. Um, I guess it's good that I can check if any door was open because otherwise it should be closed. That's the normal state of doors. I am making doubly sure that no entry point in ignored. That doesn't seem to be the case. Good. I'll move Jens to the back. Can we close the door again? Doesn't seem to be the case. So how about we move over here? And then crouch. Good as we're gonna get. And Gika, I'm a little bit afraid of losing you randomly. I'm gonna hide you. Very specific. Ooh, that's uh, that's this is a mission. Let's see what happens next. Okay, that's a monster that's just eating something. Ah, this is a chrysalid. This is a chrysalid. So that thing is brutally dead. And uh, at the very least I can see that they don't chain, so that's good. Carlito Menem is here and he has been equipped with a lame duty uh, thingy, so that's bad. We take fire, we only hit once, and then we do nothing. Now we move over here, so we can take three shots. One. Good. Two. Good. Three. Oh no, that's terrible. Oh no, why did they have old XCOM mechanics? Why would they do this to us? So, for those of you that do not know, uh, chrysalids reproduce by killing and just creating a new chrysalid, which is terrible for me in this case because I don't have anyone quite available to shoot at this. So it will have to be this unit. So I crouch, hope for the best, kill my own unit, hit zero on the enemy. What are the chances for this? I'm so mad. I'm so mad, that was super unnecessary. And now this unit will die, and then this cycle will never end. I guess there's an option which is to send Gika over here and hope that one shot is, is a kill. But this option totally ends with Gika death. Dead. So let's not do that. We see this thing, we can shoot. Uh, decent shot. Get zero hits and run away. Good. And finally, oh god. You know what? Let's take an aim shot over here. Hit nothing. So what can I do against this thing? So totally move here. Oh, and reveal more enemies. How about this? Nope. I don't know. Uh, I could ask Sun to take one for the team. Got another enemy long distance over here. Oh, God. All so bad. You know what? Retreat. There's absolutely no smart position for me to fight this enemy. So. We just move move out, get ready for whatever comes after this bout. And hope for the best. Uh, this enemy didn't die, and no one else can move. So we go. The enemy moves around, explodes us. Goes to a side, Gika gets shot, just because that's what we do all day, every day. <laughs> of course, this guy panics, and now we don't even get to shoot. 
So we move around. Oh god. Oh, game is just hating me. So we don't have enough movement to fire after what just happened. I wonder how many turns it took it takes for this to become a crisis. No, how is this happening to me? It keeps happening. Ooh, let's take it easy. And you know what? It's the best we can do. It's fire. I have to be careful because apparently we can close the door with any kick. We shoot, it doesn't die. Sangnif is dead, everything is bad. Yay! Random controls. Such nice. What can I do to prevent this? I can think of something. Oh, we drop the shotgun here. We run over here. here. We grab this from the backpack. And we say one. And now we drop it. And now we don't run. We just move one spot away. I'm pretty sure this is going to die, but maybe, maybe I get crazy lucky and I kill this thing as well. And if not, well, we are learning. That's correct. Take a shot. Miss. Take a shot. Hit. Tiny. Take a shot. Mm, which type of shot? This one. Get a kill. Let's make sure that this side is fully, fully complete. No, you see? That's tricky from you. Do I shoot? Yes. Yes! So that seems that seems to be this corner, I hope. See what else we can do for our people. I'll spot this guy over here. And move one diagonal over there. Nine. Who are you? What can you do? You cannot really do anything. Yep, that's it. This unit is dead. Uh, if we're lucky, this gets killed. If we are not lucky, Jens, uh, sorry, Sangnif is also dead. Mercy killing. Better to get a, a bullet in the head than get chrysalized. I guess that's true. This is, a, this is the first time I see the chrysalis. Oh god. The thing not explode. Am I getting doubly punished? Well, yes. I am getting absolutely punished. So the thing explodes, my unit is dead, but none of the chrysalids died. So this is literally as bad as it can be. Okay, fair enough. Get over here, discover a chrysalid, continue shooting, because we're very angry, continue shooting. Get the kill. Yeah! Um, sadly, this chrysalid number two still remains. Because that's exactly how chrysalids work. I always found this type of enemy very, very disturbing. Because uh, one mistake and your entire campaign can be lost. Just like this. Also, Giga is dead, which is absolutely terrible. I really don't think we're, we're coming out of this one alive. But we have learned a lot about... Uh, how can camp campaigns can go bad? But I guess there's that. Move this unit over here. Get prepared to try to take over this enemy. You know what? I can move. Yeah, that's good. And for this unit, uh, let's bring him back to the corridor of relevance. And we'll stand here. And then we'll pass the turn. And let's see what happens. Thing runs. Attacks. Explodes, kills, everything as expected. And our guy in the front has panicked. No, our guy with the heavy machine gun. No, no, the guy on the front, okay. But what we can do is take one side step. Right, I should be able to do And then Crouch. Am I sure about crouching? 
I absolutely hate that. It, I, I know it, it's based on the old game, but not rotating the camera is super killing me right now. Okay, we're gonna go for the main one. 42, that means we can crouch. The main one dies. I guess that's as much as mercy as we could provide. It, you know what? I cannot do this because if I do, and if I kill it, then there will be nothing to stop the chrysalids after it. So we move back here, and I believe no one else can move, so we pass the turn. Thingy moves, get shot. An enemy runs in. More hidden movement. But let's see what we can do. So we open fire on this. Oop. Doesn't even die from that. And then we run out of ammo. What a timing. Okay. Fire. And it works! Hey! We got a kill. However, this this one over here that's still pululating, so that's bad. And there's still this enemy that we want to take care of, or Giga. Um, this enemy should have absolutely all of his moves to shoot at us, but you know, cannot wait any longer. One shot shoots back at us, demolishes that poor guy. But we hold. We will hold ish as best we can. Reload, reload, move over here, reload, pass the turn. Can I even do anything else? Maybe maybe I should have waited? Is that what you do in base missions? I, I could have totally waited in the front door and then the enemy has to come to me. For a few turns maybe that would have been a good idea. So that guy shows up, we will try to finish off all the chrysalids in this mission. I have been generating one after the other. Oh, that, that won't happen to Ooh, do I even shoot? The answer is no, I don't. Time to crouch. <laughs> that, that is a fitting finale for our guys. Oh no, we live! Ah, so many teachings for us. Jens about to give out. Yes, don't worry friend. I'm your last hope. I'm here to save you. So we open up and... We miss. <laughs> a fitting end to a fun campaign. And it's time to die. And it's time to say goodbye. <sighs> that is such a shame. I do think that, uh, just like Gika mentioned, there's too much in this game that depends on suffering it first, so that you learn it for the next campaign. Uh, but I believe more in the spirit of Iron Man than in, you know, learning everything there is, than uh, flying through the campaign. So we'll finish this campaign with a sad okay, and uh, the, the game pretends like it can still go on, because of course technically this base is still alive, but we have seen enough. We will actually, you know what, I know what we're gonna do. Oh, that's amazing. So we could, we could even go to an alien outpost. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the game discover our base. Maybe even finish all the researches that we can. Uh, of course, no one is researching anymore. Uh, we're gonna let the aliens discover our base. Oh, wow. The research is moving forward. Surprising. So... Wolf, battle armor, scimitar tank. See, so we could already uh, upgrade this thing. Blah, blah, blah. Interceptor. All of it very interesting, but 
Ah, we cannot even say research this, right? I guess, yes, that's true. Okay, fair enough. Come on, timer. Destroy my base and uh, let me click campaign complete, campaign done. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice. So the, the alien UFOs obviously have missions. Oh, we still have this. Okay. Um, in the meantime, what we're going to do is demolish this one so that when we finally lose this space, it's over. <clears throat> I'm absolutely letting all the time pass on purpose because I want them to destroy me. <laughs> but really, the enemy doesn't want to do it. Maybe they think they already did enough damage, uh, in which case it's totally true. Is that the scout? Come on. Okay, so two continents lost. I guess it took them long enough. I really want them to destroy my base, come on. Let's finish this campaign, at least this one, on a high note. Yes, there we go. No defensive batteries, no soldiers present to defend the facility. We have died. So, the war, the war drags on for several months, but ultimately proves a formality. Humanity as we know it is utterly extinguished. The game is over, we did our best, uh, but we learned too much in too much short of a time and we will have to try better for next time we play. Thank you all, I'll be taking a pause and I will see you next time. Commander out. <laughs>